Hello there. Today we're going to go over what is probably one of the best mining spots in Palworld. So this mining spot, which can be found near the Seal Realm of the Guardian, the Power Lines Tower entrance, or the Seal Realm of the Swift, basically the highest peak in the area, with the exception of the mountain itself. Uh, it is a mining area that has not only ore, eight ore nodes, it also has six coal nodes, meaning that you can actually get refined ingots from just one single base and of course that makes things a lot easier it is probably one of the better mining bases in uh, the entire game because it's also in completely inaccessible meaning that as soon as long as you clear out the area there isn't really any pals that can climb up here they are going to have a hard time to pull that off so it's also somewhat raid safe now with the power box in the middle here, as you can see, we can actually cover the entirety of the mining area and we still have ample places to build beds and other features that we need like, say, smelting or just straight up uh, hot tubs for satiety reasons or sanity reasons, sorry. So I'm going to go ahead and build up this base a little bit more to show you what you can do. But generally you get the gist already. Very, very nice place to build a mining base. It is pretty far north compared to the rest of the map, to be fair, but at the same time, it's an incredible location, so let's see what we can do with it. Mining base has been set up. Now, <clears throat> you might uh, see this and think it's a little bit too much, but honestly, you can use basic beds, you can use basic uh, hot tubs. It's basically just to get more efficiency out of our pals. Now, in terms of the pals that you want to assign to this place, it's going to be pretty straightforward on how to do so. The ore nodes, you're going to require a at least tier 2 mining pal. For the coal nodes, you can at least require a tier 3 mining pal. And we have some options available to us here. Of the tier 2s, we have both the, the Mamorous types. We have Quiven, Combat, Dumuds, and also Pen King. For tier 3s, we have Dig Toys, Ruptiro and his Ice variant, which I don't have, Anasting, Anubis, and for tier 4, we have Astagon. Anubis can actually be bred fairly easily with the combination of Penking and Bushi. Bushi is a level 23 boss, Penking is a level 15 boss. They're fairly easy to get to, so you can actually really easily get an Anubis up and running through breeding. You just have those to breed together, it'll always be an Anubis. So you can actually get your mining guys up very quickly. And Anubis is really good for mining. He is a tier 3 for mining and he's a tier 3 for transport. So if you put in, say, five of these guys, they are going to do all of the mining that you require. In our case, he's also quick. Hits the nodes for a fairly decent amount and gets the job done fairly quick. But yeah, we also have a Stagon, the tier 4 dragon, I guess you could say. He hits the nodes for a little bit more. He is a lot bigger, though, which is potentially a little bit of a problem. But uh, he's not a bad choice at all. Manasting, Eruptero, and Dig Toys are all the other tier trees. I'll have a little look about how they mine. As you can see, Manasting here has opted to go for a tree because Manasting can also work on trees, so not really the most efficient for this base. Eruptero and Dig Toys both will work fours. And as you can see, Dig Toys is just spinning. And generally, Dig Toys hasn't been working well for me unless I do it manually with a tool. Because of the spinning, it does cause the uh, hunger meter to drop fairly rapidly compared to, say, Anubis. Anubis spin out longer, hunger meter barely moved. Big Toys a special move here, which is the spinning. It's going to drain that very quickly. Same can kind of be said for Repturo. Uh, not the highest of uh, hunger level step, but we have used him earlier. And he kind of hits similarly to Anubis in terms of no damage. So, again, wouldn't really recommend uh, Dig Toys unless you are using the headband which basically means that he does not hit for one on the nodes, he hits for three, but it needs to be in your party, and you need to check him out there manually. For all of these, Mamorest has the same problem as Manasting. He'll hit uh, wood nodes, Coven can be used, Tombat can be used, uh, basically all of these guys can be used. But do keep in mind that they will just go for the ore nodes rather than anything else. But as you can see, uh, get a team of Anubises. Again, they're really, really easy to breed. Cake can be somewhat problematic to get up and running. But you can find the ingredients for making it in uh, uh, basically this area. You'll be able to find the bees that produce honey. You'll be able to find the cows, I believe, a little bit further south. But yeah, you need milk, you need honey, you need wheat to make flour, berries, and... 
eggs. So cakes are pretty straightforward to make. And every one, two cakes equals an Anubis, which as you can imagine, is going to make getting this mining base up and running with breeding incredibly easy. Hope you've enjoyed this guide. That is it for me. And as I said here, this is probably your best location for an endgame mining base. It's going to do the job nicely. You are safe from raids. And uh, again, ore and coal. So this will get you going at least until you get to, uh, well, palladium ingots. So yeah, if you have enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. Helps me out a ton. And I hope to see you around next time. Bye-bye.